Welcome to my garden. Come in. Hi ladies. Hi ladies, how are you? We're so excited. This is my my little piece of heaven. And um, I'm here with Tessa and Charlie and Oscar. Oscar is going to join us for the uh, garden talk. And um, he's very excited about it. Uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah, my garden. I love my garden. I will give you a little tour uh, in a minute. But um, I have, um, I bought this house like 18, 17 years ago and I, I really bought it because of the backyard. I have three gigantic trees in the back and uh, a nice long backyard. And uh, yeah, it really got me uh, excited about this house. So I've done a lot to it, of course, but the trees were always here. And so was this enormous grapevine, which is like, it's gonna be like the little shop of horror. It's gonna eat us soon. <laughs> I trim it almost every day and it keeps on coming back. And uh, see, Oscar is almost eating you. <laughs> So I have a lot of perennials, which I, I love my perennials, but for a pop of color, I always go and buy uh, the annuals. And I went very pink this year. I think it's a little too pink, but you like it, eh? I do, I really like it. Yeah. Normally she puts geraniums in the middle of these, like the pots they'll show you later. On the pots they look great, but on this it's just more fuller and it's just coming down nicer than yeah. previous years. Yeah, and also my garden is basically on the south side, so there's a lot of sun. Starting in the morning, it goes down, the sun goes this way, it goes down. Um, so it's hot, and I find petunias are great for hot weather, and so are geraniums. We do, I do water every day, but I have a lot of bird feeders. Uh, my children when they were little, they always said birds eat better than we do because we, <laughs> we always buy lots of birds. So we have some updated pictures we're going to show you for the for the puppy. Um, the breeder's been sending us um, the cutest little pictures. And um, again, we are getting a female. It's funny because um, I know the lady well who gets first pick and you know who you are and i always i always joke with her about who she gets first pick so i'm always joking with her about who she's gonna pick first because um of course you won't know until you meet the cute little puppies and fall in love with which one but uh anyways i'm not gonna put her on the spot but um we're always joking which so it'll be you want, which one do you want bud uh, the black and white. The black and white. And Oscar, what are you most looking forward to when we get the puppy? Um, uh, snuggling with it. Snuggling with her. And are you gonna help um, walk the dog? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what about when we have to pick up the food? Uh, I'm gonna ask Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna ask his sister to do it. But um, maybe you should give them a tour. Yeah, well, with, with the garden with big trees, it's beautiful, of course, but it also has some negative points, which is that it's shaded. And I find the roots of the trees take a lot of the nutrients of the uh, plants. But this year, because I had so much time, my garden never has looked <laughs> better. So I'm doing all the mulching, the fertilizer, all, all the things you should do. It, it made a huge difference. It really made a huge difference, don't you think? Yeah. It looks really nice. We live in such a beautiful area that has so many uh, uh, spots for gardeners. And Bye, Oscar. Bye. <laughs> so about what we're wearing today, I'm wearing the Rembrandt loose tank, which is... Uh, an older design we brought it back in a few different fabrics and uh, I'm underneath I have the lilac the, the misty lilac, lilac same wall cap sleeve cap sleeve which is pretty it picks up on the color in this tunic but there's quite a few colors here that you can pick up um, I'm wearing it with the, the black linen emmy pants with the uh, the knit waistband which is so comfortable. The pant I'm wearing in an extra small. I find the pants fit quite large. The uh, this is a small. Loose tunic is a small. And I have on the same cap sleeve in black. Um, and I'm wearing our Izzy dress, one of my favorite designs that we make. 
I think I have about five of them in my closet from fall winter designs uh, fabrics to the summer fabrics and um, yeah pockets is great I'm wearing a medium so they fit a bit snug here which is nice and then it just um, kind of bubbles out like that bag dress style so it's very flattering I've washed mine a ton of times and I've never ironed it so you can see a bit of yeah, it's, nice. it's relaxed and um, with my linen I find I machine wash cold on delicate I hang it out right away I kind of lay it flat and just um, you know um, press out the seams and then it dries crispy a little bit and then when I as I wear it again it relaxes and I never I never have to iron it I love this look and then I put a scarf on today because it's actually a little chillier today although it is summer but um I didn't have a wait you're hot I'm a hog are you <laughs> I'm a little sweaty well anyways I find the neckline is quite bare so I like to put something either yeah. a necklace or no, for sure or a scarf and I just wanted to remind you that our summer sale is on still and um, our Lucian Bean summer line is 30% off. Okay, ladies, let's go. I'm going to give you a tour of my garden. Come and follow me. I have my water feature. The birds really come and drink almost every morning. I'll take you to my uh, touchy garden, which is... Um, Darcy's son Jordan made it for me. I'm so excited about it. So I have little cherry tomatoes, beefsteak tomatoes, uh, lots of lettuce, which I really like. I have Brussels sprouts and um, these are peppers. Kale, uh, I like to make a shake with kale, parsley. Over the years at the One of a Kind show, I've picked up some uh, interesting pieces and I love uh, pickies for some reason and this little picky uh, is always sunbathing this one is very interesting it's like um, it's a mailbox and um, if there's mail the red ear goes up not the ear stays down one of my favorites too is my hydrangea so as you know gardeners hydrangea has come in very different forms and I just love the shape of this, uh, the flowers of this one. It's not so compact, but um, it's almost like a lily pad. And the color, of course, is exquisite. So this one has done extremely well this year. And uh, these are my bird feeders, my bird bath. I'm going to take you to uh, a very exciting um, tree in my backyard, my pride and joy. So this is a kinko bobayo tree. I don't know if you can see the form of the leaf, it's exquisite. Apparently this is one of the oldest trees. The kinko tree is well known for uh, natural, uh, it's a natural remedy for memory loss. So I should really start to, to utilize this tree because I can use it. It was very little when I bought the house and now it's growing and growing. And I just think it's, it's uh, I don't know what I like so much about it. I think it's the shape of the leaf, the shape, the shape the branch grows. And uh, of course, that is a very ancient tree, which I love. I have this little piece of heaven that is quiet and lots of birds flying. And um, I really like it. I hope you liked my tour and I hope you uh, enjoyed my view of the backyard. And. Uh, uh, I wish you uh, a very nice, long, healthy summer. Bye.